All right, y'all, so we're heading out now. We're uh, back in the beautiful Pocosin of Virginia, one of my favorite places, kind of like a hidden gem to myself. I love all these long, huge grassy sand flats all over the place. Beautiful wildlife preserve over there. Just one of, one of those like nice treats. I love coming out here. And the fishing, when the fish are here, is on fire. This is probably my favorite place to fish in Virginia. Um, I went out a couple days ago. It was super hot. Uh, there was not a lot of lunar activity going around. Uh, I caught one slot red and a short flounder, and that was it. So we're going to come back out here and try again today. Obviously, there was a red here. There's going to be more. So let's see if we can find them. You know what I mean? GoPro start recording. GoPro start recording. Oh yeah, here's a redfish baby. Look at that. Pulling out drag. Oh, I told you this spot, this little island right here never, ever fails. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, and that might be a slot. Oh yeah, nice fish, nice fish. Yeah, and in the net he goes. Heck yeah. Man, you can't you can't beat the fight on these reds. So this one is about 19 and a half inches. So nice keeper. Hell yeah, stocking up the freezer. All right, y'all, so today we're gonna be fishing with a popping cork with about three feet uh, of leader. Uh, this is 20 pound mono, uh, I mean, uh, fluorocarbon uh, with a jig head and a gulp shrimp. You know, this is just to locate the fish, then we'll be throwing all types of soft plastic. It's one of my favorite fishing to do. Uh, I always thought popping corks were for losers until I came out here and caught my first redfish and uh, a bunch of speckled trout and everything else about two years ago. And now I'm hooked. This is, you know, I can't wait for the fall, end of summer, beginning of fall, to get out here and just throw popping corks up along some grasses. You know what I mean? Let's get it. GoPro, start recording. What do we got? First fish. What is it, though? All right. What is it? Oh, is that a big like a big croaker or something let's see oh it's a little 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 red oh that's adorable that's what was hitting it all right <laughs> look at how little that red is it's like 12 inches isn't it cute maybe a little bigger but look isn't that thing cute beautiful blue tail but that thing is adorable never caught a red this small so that was cool he kept hitting it and he kept missing it so i kept casting just to see what it was at first i thought it was just a big uh like a big croaker or something, but nope, little red. Bye, buddy. Oh, got another hit. GoPro, start recording. Oh, I missed him. Let's see if we can get him back. Uh, maybe not. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. GoPro. Oh, yeah, it's back. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, it spit it again. What is going on? He follow. He's been following this bait. That's the second time I've hooked into him. What the hell is going on? GoPro, start recording. Oh, dude, next cast. I casted where he got off and here he is. What is it? We gotta get it. Oh my gosh, dude. That's the third time I've got him on this. We gotta catch him. Oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? It can't be a ray. Oh, it's a huge red. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. Bro, I did not just miss you three times to not catch you. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Nice. Yeah, look at him go. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. 
Bro, I heard a splash and it sounded like a big gulf compared to all the uh, big like mullet and stuff jumping. And he was right here and I casted and he hit it. But I felt him, he grabbed it and pulled but missed the hook because he took off. I casted it away from where I thought maybe he darted, hooked into him again and he was on for a few seconds as you guys saw. And I watched him dart out this way and I just casted right towards where I saw him dart and literally as soon as it hit the water, he nailed it. <sighs> That's precise. Alrighty y'all. Nice 24 inch redfish. Really pretty fish, we're gonna let him go. So uh, I'm super stoked on how that turned out with the three strikes, so. Persistence is key. And uh, that natural scent bait, I really think is uh, giving me the upper hand with these fish because it's red tidy out here and everything else, you know, super murky, it's water's dirty, it's just terrible. So awesome day, awesome fish. Let's let him go, booyah. GoPro, start recording. All right, dude, first cast after catching that fish, here's another nice red. I believe so. Yeah, nice. Yeah, another, probably close to a slot. This is literally, like, I caught that fish right there, I just released him back there, because, and I just cast it right here. Nice. Hell yeah, dude, this is a good day of fishing. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Stoked. I'm having a nice day out here, <laughs> if you can't tell. I've only been out here for maybe half hour. So, fishing, the bite has definitely picked up today, even under these conditions. So, let's do it. Bye, buddy. So what I've noticed about these fish, oh, I almost just had another. Uh, so what I'm noticing about these fish is they're not sitting up along the grass like they normally do. Uh, they're sitting about 10, 15 yards off, like kind of where this post was. I caught him about a yard or two off this uh, post right here. And the other one was also right in between these two grasses, but about 10 to 15 yards out. They're sitting in about that three, four feet of water uh, where the incline drops to where it uh, flattens out. They're just waiting there and then sliding up and ambushing prey like that. So uh, it's really cool to see that and figure it out. And now I think we're gonna actually slay into some fish. And here's a whole bunch of bait jumping. Look at that, spooking all of them. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, start recording. Yeah! <laughs> Yo, literally, I just threw this and another redfish on. This is a good day, and this is a nice red too. These are quality redfish. I could be going home with a limit today. Ugh. Nice. Literally, cast. I'm not even gonna stop recording after I cast. <laughs> Literally, as soon as I stopped talking, I cast it and he hit it one pop on the water. Sick. Beautiful fish. All right, let's, uh, let's get him back in the water, right? Oh, GoPro start recording. <laughs> Look at that, Look at that. next cast, and another quality redfish. They're just abundant today. This is fantastic. Yeah, pulling out drag. Oh, that's a nice one too. Nice, nice slot red. Oh, all right, pulling out more line. All right. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah, that one might even be bigger than the first one we caught. Ah, no, nah, I think it's a little shorter, but still. I, four casts, four fish. That's crazy. All within like a 20 yard stretch along this beach. Yeah. Quality, quality redfish. This guy's bleeding though. I might have to keep him. Oh, I guess not. Oh, there he is. Come on. And there he goes, guys. Say goodbye to that redfish. I was able to revive him and he swam away happily. Uh, I'm super stoked on that. I love being able to release fish if I'm not keeping them, especially when they look like they were injured. He bled for a little bit and then he stopped. 
Uh, I threw him on a stringer and he started trying to kick and swim. Gave him a few minutes, uh, letting him get his uh, strength back. And as uh, hopefully my camera caught, you just saw him swim underneath the kayak. I was about to die and as soon as I cast in that corner, another redfish. Nice sized one too. Oh, I twisted the wrong way. All right, I've messed up with that. Oh, there's a bigger one, it looks like. It's hard to, oh yeah, nice fish. This is what it's all about, guys. Beautiful, beautiful red drum. Solid fish, beautiful day, I'm stoked. All right, let's let him go. And he's off. Hell yeah, great way to end the day, you know what I mean? Camera's at 4% and catch the biggest red of today, hell yeah.